Guess what? It's April and it's time for your tarot reading. I'm sorry I lost my voice. That's why they're a little bit late and that's also why it sounds like shit, but let's get started. Hey Taurus. Okay, so your social life and emotional well-being, they're like have more confidence. <laughs> okay, easier said than done, right? But they go, look, here's the deal. It's kind of like you're at the edge of something and you're kind of wondering like, okay, I'm thinking about doing this thing and it seems like there's a reward on the other side, but I know it's going to be challenging to get there. Is it worth it? Yes or no? What do I need to do in order to prepare for this? Well, you really just need to boost up your confidence. So how do you do that? They say um, investing, actually. Investing um, monetarily in whatever it is that you want. Uh, so how would this play out socially and emotionally? Well, let's say that I have decided that I want to get a master's degree in something, okay? So I'm standing here and I'm going, mm, it's going to eat up a lot of my time. It's going to cost a lot of money. I don't know if I can balance that with work. Hmm. Um, they're like, okay, yeah, though. Like, just put the, invest in it. You know, even if you're not financially investing in it, even, you know, maybe you have a full ride somewhere. Maybe you have scholarships. But, so maybe that's not the best example. <laughs> but I do think that this is something, um, there's definitely this whole aspect of like investing in something, even though it's going to be challenging. So maybe this is getting a gym membership, investing in your health. Maybe this is investing in your health just by reading healthy recipes online and starting to cook for yourself. Maybe this is investing in new relationships by joining a club or a group or a meetup. Maybe this is somehow investing in um, yourself by you know, getting a paid dating app instead of a free one because then you have this, like, mindset of, like, you get what you pay for, right? Like, people who are going to pay for this are serious about wanting a long-term relationship. Things like that. They're like, you know what? You need to feel really confident and just part of the way to feel confident is putting money, time, energy, whatever it is you invest into whatever this thing is that you want to do that's going to make you feel better emotionally, but also will put you around other people, it will enhance your social life, and this could be so many things. So if you're confused on that, maybe a personal reading would be good for you because there's so many Tauruses, but the point is, is that when we put money, time, energy, whatever, when we invest in it, we take it more seriously. So for example, let's say that I want to um, learn how to get a six pack, all right? So I can read all these free articles, watch all these videos, and I can obtain that information, right? And I'll know what to do, but am I gonna stick to it? Am I gonna hold myself accountable? Am I gonna follow through? Probably not if I didn't make an investment. But let's say that I hire a personal trainer. So yeah, they're gonna hold me accountable, right? But I'll feel, it's not even about them holding me accountable and being like, hey, where are you? Let's do sit-ups. It's more like I'm going to hold myself accountable because I've already invested in this. And I don't, I want a return on investment. You, we don't wanna just like throw our time, energy, money away. We want something back for that, right? So, and even socially, we don't wanna throw um, like all of our, okay, basically, here's the thing. We don't want to ignore our friends. We want to invest in them. We want to ask them how they're doing. We want to be very invested in their lives because otherwise what happens is they don't turn around and give a shit about what's going on with us. We go through a hard time and they're like, look, I was there for you like the last five times you went through a hard time. And when I go through a hard time, you never even check up. You never even ask me how I am. You just dump your shit on me. And I'm not saying this is like a Taurus characteristic, but what I am saying is we need to be very aware of where we are investing, okay, socially and emotionally. What are you emotionally investing your time and energy into? Is it paying you back? Like negative thinking, for example. Does that make you feel better? No. Fucking stop. Like, is, is that, you know? Like, so anyway, 
I could go on and on and on about the way, different ways that tourists could invest their time, energy, money, whatever, love, <laughs> in a social and emotional way. So we're just going to move on. Um, what can you best do, though, to support yourself? Uh, they go, well, the challenge is really this, like, feeling of overwhelming love, joy, and happiness. Um, they're saying, like, challenging yourself to feel love. For people, for situations, for yourself, for your goals, for things like that. To really, really focus on how we're feeling, why we're feeling that way. But, you know, mostly like folks, if, if something was hard, if something felt bad, we want to focus on the lesson and what we learned from that and how we are able to grow and apply that moving forward. How maybe we could help other people by what we learned. Okay? Now, as far as your career goes, what's up? In April, they go, get excited about that. If you've been taking time off of work, get back to work. <laughs> but they're like, get really excited about that and think about the ways that this is very nurturing for you. They're saying, um, this is going to help you to really kind of go from like, mm, overflowing with love and happiness and, you know, joy and stuff is hard to, oh, okay, I'm actually in that energy now. It's going to be very, very helpful. Like focusing on the creative aspects, on things that are fun um, while you're at work, because not everybody loves their job, right? But there are certain aspects of it that you love or that you like, even if it's only getting a paycheck. So they're saying, because here's the thing, until you really get into that flow energy, until you're really in that loving and excited, happy to you know work kind of vibe, you're not open you're not even seeing the opportunities and the blessings that the universe has to give you. They're trying to give it to you, but you need to have your energy match it. It needs to be in alignment with the gifts that they're trying to give you before you can receive it, okay? Now, as far as money goes, what's up? They go, don't worry about it. <laughs> they go, because same deal. Same exact deal. I want you to see, can you see how her eyes are closed? All these cups floating around her. Cups are like good things. All this like loving, wonderful, positive energy, all these things that you want. And she can't see it because her eyes are closed. But even if she opened her eyes, do you see all of this smoke here? It's like it'd be confusing and it would be hazy. And she still might not really clearly see it because she's not in the right energy flow. Okay? So you want to fix that. As far as love life goes for Taurus singles, what's up? They go, um, okay. So it's time to make a decision but you don't feel like you have the power to do so and you feel like maybe you're hiding something a little bit or something is hidden from you and that's why it's hard. Now that's kind of strange, right? It's kind of, um, oh, okay, I'm a Taurus and I'm single and I've got to make decisions but I don't really feel good about them or I don't feel like I can control situations. Okay, so what this might be about is potential people that you are meeting. Okay, so it's like, I've got to decide, is it going to be worth my time to go on this date or not? And, you know, where am I maybe kind of trying to convince myself one way or the other? Or trying to convince the other person, you know, of how awesome I am um, in order to secure a date or to make them fall in love with me or whatever that is. Even if nobody is in your midst, even if this is like, thinking backwards about your most recent breakup, this is important, okay? They're like, what do I need to decide about that? Am I going to let it go? Am I going to forgive this person? Am I going to forgive myself for the way that this relationship, you know, ended up like my part of that or the way that I feel or how long I've wallowed in it or, you know, whatever. So uh, what else for singles? They go, look, if you're able to do that, some of you will find a very secure marriage type situation. Some of you will. And they go, but this really does start with you needing to really nurture your emotional self, okay? To really feed your heart, like this love flow vibe so you can attract it in. And so, you know, you're like, how can I do that? Like, if I'm not in love or if I don't love things or if things aren't going well. Well, the things that you do love, really, really, really embrace it. Um... So an example for me is when I wake up in the morning very early, which I don't love, I go, 
oh my gosh, I'm so glad I'm up on time because I would definitely love a lot less being late. <laughs> or um, when the kids get into the car and like I don't have to run all over the house up and down all these flights of stairs looking for their shoes or something. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that you guys got in the car to go to school and you have all your stuff. Hell yeah. Or then I back out of the driveway and I'm like, I love that my car works. I love that the garage door opened. I loved that the sun is shining, right? And I might just like kind of move my arm like to the window even though I don't drive like that if that's where the sun is shining. Sometimes I notice, you know, kind of like when you're driving and the sun is in your eyes, you kind of like dodge around like moving that little thingamajig with the mirror on it to block it feeling for your sunglasses. Um, but I also sometimes just kind of like at a stoplight, move myself more into the sun because that makes me happy. So the more in little ways that we experience a lot of happiness and joy and love for silly things, the more that we're open and we get comfortable with this love energy and then things that we really, really want start flowing to us. And so if you want to be in a very loving relationship, you've got to express a lot of love right? Because otherwise, somebody's going to come along and they're going to be like, why would I want to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't, who isn't even loving? I want a very long lasting, super loving and joyful relationship. It doesn't seem like a good match. And maybe that's what you're hiding, right? Maybe that's where that judgment needs to be made. And you might be like, mm, I can't control that. I have anxiety. I have depression. And they're like, okay, well, you can't control it like boom overnight. But step by step, we can start to shift our mindsets a little bit, okay? Now, for those of you who are coupled, they go, sexy text messages, awesome, send them. <laughs> what else? They go, this is how you keep a marriage strong. This is how you keep it alive. And even if your version of sexy is like, hey, um, I cannot wait for you to cook me green beans tonight. It doesn't have to be like dick pics. It doesn't have to be a nude. Um, but they're like, this is how you keep your relationship really happy and thriving and strong. So make sure that you're sending um, text messages. And text messages of all things is kind of strange, right? Or even emails, but it's electronic communication. So um, I might set an alarm in my phone while I'm at work that maybe I'm going to text my partner at 10 a.m., and 2 p.m. for the rest of the week and don't tell them that because it kind of takes the romance out of it. But they might be like, hmm, my partner is very interested in me. Even if it's just like, hey, how's your day going? I hope you're having an awesome day. And you don't usually do that. It goes a long way. It solidifies the relationship and it brings a lot more joy and happiness to it. So for those of you in undefined situation, whoa, undefined situations and circumstances, something's up. I've never had... Um, I feel like I just got burned right here on my head, and I don't know. Um, Clear sentience is not my strong suit. Sometimes I do get a bad feeling, and like, you know, but that's usually something like abdominally. Sometimes, anyway, I want to find out what that's about. What's that about? Okay, so this is very specific for probably not all of you. <laughs> But they're like, this is like a like a warning of, of pain, and the details are not necessarily important, but they're just be careful with like this part of your head right here. So where your eye, like first, first third of your eyebrows straight up on the left side, be careful. I don't, it feels hot. It feels like, it's like they... So it's not painful. I don't want you guys to worry. I'm not in pain. But like if it wasn't like an angel that pulled it, that did that, it would feel that way. It's like, um, it's like hot and pulling. So I don't know if somebody pulls your hair. <laughs> I don't know if somebody drops something on you. If you stand up really fast and you bonk it on a cabinet. But be very careful right here. That's really weird. Why is that pertaining only to non-defined relationship type people? And they go, because non-defined relationship type people are um, going to be the last ones who figure out how to open themselves up to these loving situations. And it's just kind of 
um, a sign that things are out of alignment and you need to focus on that. Um, they're saying that the reason why this is important is because it can be something that creates um, other problems for you, even financially. Like it, like it could be like a hospital bill. I'm getting like jaw pain, maybe even ear pain too. This is super weird. I feel like for some of you who are in undefined relationships, I would, oh my gosh, I'm getting like the heebie-jeebies. Okay, so this is probably not for the majority of you. I think this is just one really important message for one of you because I honestly feel like, oh my gosh, um, be careful who you're spending your time with. Okay, so if you're in an undefined relationship because you don't know um, this person very well, like it's new, I would maybe look into, I will let people know where I am. This could be a physical attack. This could be a partner. Um, and maybe it, maybe it's, maybe it's a three-party situation and somebody finds something out or who knows what, but because it, it was secret, this is not necessarily for like polyamorous people, it's probably less likely, but um, it could be on again, off again relationship, but all of a sudden, like somebody's like maybe in danger of like some sort of domestic violence or like violence. So just be really, really careful. Okay. Um, so for that specific person, sorry, I'm going to detour because it's important. They're like, it starts with a lie. So that's your warning sign to run the fuck away. And they go, this is how you show yourself that you love yourself. Okay. Very, very important. Ugh, I'm getting so like, okay, if if you find out that somebody that you just met is lying to you, do not be around them. Cut them off this month. Um, if you're dealing with lies in like your undefined relationship, you're on and off again, really, stop it before something bad happens. And I'm not saying this is going to happen to everybody that this might resonate for, but for one of you, it feels like it is, and it's a super important message, and I hope you take it to heart. Um, they go, this is not a happy thing. It's not a happy thing at all. And I'm not getting like, oh my gosh, you're going to die, but it's going to be bad. And I don't like it. And yeah, it's like, you need to know. So it starts with a lie. At that point, cut that shit off. Very important. Okay, moving on to the rest of you. Let's hope that's happier. Um, they go, okay, so for some of you, you might be feeling kind of like, mm, I don't really know where I'm headed or <laughs> what I want or where I want to go. But this element of non-attachment is exactly where you're supposed to be. And they say, if that makes you uncomfortable, you can pray about it, connect to spirit, however you do that, yoga, meditation, um, tarot cards, whatever. But that will kind of help you. And this will be a lucky turn of events for you. And the other person, like, dude, dude, I'm sorry that this specific person is hijacking your reading, but it is, like, painful. It is, like being a hit and your hair pulled it's like an attack and I it's like your whole jaw it's like your face is fucked so that lie is your sign run away cut them off whatever you have to distance yourself largely okay for so sorry it's just like I'm feeling that so strong so <laughs> it's it's very important it could be life-saving um because it, this shit's serious. Like, it's so bad. Anyway, yeah. They're like, they just want to keep talking about that. So for the rest of you, element of non-attachment is good. But for this specific person, like, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but it's damn near going to kill you. So be aware. Okay, the rest of you. Um, they go, you know, there's really not that much that you have to do except for kind of be, a, except for, like, thinking there's no action step you have to take. You don't have to do anything necessarily in regards to what it is that you want for your love life, for your future, what kind of relationship you want to be in, you know, where you hope this relationship goes. The non-attachment is good because it helps you to feel the joy on the day-to-day -day and kind of not feel um, anxiety and stress about relationships. But they're like, can you start thinking about what you want though? Because that would be in your better interest. You don't have to do anything. Just think about it. Think about what kind, what togetherness means for you and how you define that. So sorry that kind of took a tangent. Um, and I hope that those of you who are in those undefined relationships could kind of follow along there. I apologize. Now, um, your affirmation for all Taurus is I am pain free and totally in sync with life. Cool. I like that. Um, and, you know, if that's not true for you, 
yet it can be the truth for you. You just say, I'm in the process of becoming pain-free and totally in sync with life. And that makes it true, which helps you to manifest that into your reality. So I'll see you in May, your birthday month. Love you. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!